it takes a village, much like the one in Evelyn Rivers' home, to raise or even help a child. That is why the Evelyn Rivers Workshop is reaching out to the community asking for monetary donations or gently used coats. That way, every Tuesday and Thursday during winter, children can line up with an adult at the workshop to get a pair of gloves, a hat, and a coat. These coats not only make these children warm, but they make them smile. When you can see them come into the coat room and know they can pick out their own coat, they put it on, they go to the mirror, they smile, you know they're excited about something new for them. That's the joy that this coat room, in my mind, brings to the children of our community. They've already given away nearly 2,000 coats since October, and as the temperature falls, the need increases. Right now, they have plenty of some sizes and not nearly enough of others. And as these winter months get colder, they're going to need more and more donations because more kids are going to be coming in, and that's going to make their inventory deplete very quickly. As you can see, our shelves are empty. We can see up to 300 children in one night, so the stock can be depleted very quickly when you're fitting 300 children. Right now, they are in desperate need of girls size 7, 14, and 16, and boys size 7, 10, and 12. However, that need is constant, and donations of all sizes are helpful. We feel a need for every range of coats, so it's not just the 12, 14 that may be empty today. If you get a group of children in that need larger size coats or smaller size coats, those can be depleted very quickly also. The coat drive will be going on for the next seven weeks, providing warmth and maybe even something more to panhandle children. You and I don't know what this coat means to this child. Does it mean just warmth? Does it mean self-esteem? Does it mean this is something new for me? We don't know what this coat holds, but that $20 that somebody gave us to buy a new coat is gonna make a child happy. Chelsea Goss, Pro News 7.